What's happening, guys? David the Film Junkie here. Welcome to man, just a vlog talking about some shit. It, it varies. You know what? I don't even know. Anything I do on this channel is just random, pretty much. It's mainly just me talking out of my ass to my webcam. And I was starting to do a thing called In Other News where I talked about other movie news, which I probably will still do because I liked the fact that I was covering not just the big movies, you know, the big, huge movies. I was covering some other stuff as well and kind of discussing that. But lately I've just been discussing like one topic just off the cuff, just out of my mouth. No cuts, no edits, no nothing. Just me and a tasty drink. Champagne and beers right there. Yeah, that's right. I'm cheap. Um, and uh, tonight I actually wanted to talk about Booster Gold. Now, I did a video, and I'll post it down below. I guess I don't really have to, but yeah, go check it out. Um, because it was a little bit of a, you know, news today that a Booster Gold movie is, in fact, coming. And um, apparently, as of right now... Whoa, bubble in the throat. As of right now, it's not going to be part of the DCEU. And, of course, sites everywhere... Just posted that. Simply just said, Booster Gold movie, not part of the DCU. Stamped, confirmed, done. And this is coming from Greg uh, Berlanti, who's uh, basically been handling the, the DC shows. Arrow, Supergirl, uh, Flash. And, um, you know, he's, he's I guess, he, he actually wanted Booster Gold to be a show. And that's kind of what I want to talk about, too. But let's talk about this part first. And then, of course... Everybody just runs rampant because the quote he said is, as of right now, okay? Now, let's go back to Shazam. Then, when they were talking about Shazam, Black Adam and everything, it wasn't really connected to the DCU. And now, the same thing's happening to Booster Gold. I'm guessing that Jeff Johns, maybe some Zack Snyder are going, hey, we could fit him in there somewhere. But does he need to be? Does he need to be connected to the DCU? And I'm asking you, and feel free to comment down below. Does he need to be a movie or should he be a TV show? Now, I'm not big time familiar with Booster Gold. I never really got into him. I mean, I've uh, I've gotten familiar with this character. It sounds like a great character. I And I've seen, um, I've actually been getting into Blue Beetle with Rebirth. And I hope they do. A, I don't know if they're going to do a, a Booster Gold Rebirth. But um, they did do a Blue Beetle one. So I'm getting into that. And I know, and I know they teamed up at a, uh, at a point. And I think he's also teamed up with uh, Rip Hunter. Well, obviously he's from the future, you know, and uh, he comes back and he's got the technology. He's kind of like full of himself, I guess, a little bit too. And then he's he's collected random things to like, because he's a human dude, but he's really athletic. But he has collected things to make, you know, to give him powers, essentially. And uh, But he's more of a lighthearted, comical character. Now, does that mean he should be in the DCU? And a lot of people are going like, no, he shouldn't because, you know, we got these dark, grim movies. They they don't have this humor, this lighthearted humor like the TV shows do. And I'm going, did you not see that fucking Justice League trailer or that footage? The Flash is going to inject a lot of humor into it, as you can see. And I'm sure the dynamic between him and Cyborg are going to be great. Well, this dynamic with everybody is going to be great. But, I mean, geez, who... <laughs> Who cares? I mean, first off, Booster Gold, I don't think, has ever been, like, a Justice League member. So, I was thinking, like, he still could be connected to the rest of the movies. He just doesn't have to be directly. You know, he could they could just reference, like, oh, yeah, there is a Superman. There is a Batman. There is a Flash in the world, but we don't need cameos. Well, we could have, like, a Flash cameo or something. But we don't need Ben Affleck to show up recruiting him for the Justice League. But then I was thinking, well, wouldn't he be better as a TV show? Why didn't the TV show take off? Because it sounds like... This kind of character would work on the CW with the Flash and Arrow. and I mean, especially with the Flash and Supergirl being really lighthearted. I mean, Arrow kind of grew into a lighthearted show, but hopefully they go back to the grittiness because that's what made that show so appealing was like the first three seasons were just... Well, I mean, the first two especially were just dark and just like gritty and everything. But uh, um, And I'm just going, hmm... Would he have fit in Legends of Tomorrow? Probably, because of time travel. Um, and it's just kind of weird that they're going to actually do a movie and bring some movie. But then I went, well, this is kind of... I guess you could say it's kind of brilliant. Not brilliant, but it's a good marketing move. Because, you know, as much as like that, that Justice League footage showed us that there is going to be humor and it's going to be a little lighter... Um, I think just having an even lighter character that's more comical, almost... I mean, I know we're going to be uh, 
uh, getting a Lobos movie, which is going to be essentially Warner Brothers and DC's Deadpool. But, I mean, that's probably, that's still a dark, like, gothic-like character. If we just have a, a superhero who is funny and has an interesting backstory, and interesting everything, I think that would actually be good for Warner Brothers, honestly. Just to, like, go, okay, we have these movies right here. We love these movies. You love those characters. But we also have this character that you probably have never heard of. Like, the general public, you you, you ask anybody on the street, who the fuck is Booster Gold? They're going to be like, what is that? Booster Gold? Is that, like, a character from Cars? No, it's not. And and they won't know exactly who that is. So if Warner Brothers were to do this and have, like, a uh, uh, probably like a third or a fourth of the budget of Batman vs. Superman... Um, I think they could really score some points with this. Hopefully they cast somebody good. I remember uh, Nick Fillion. A lot of people wanted Nick Fillion to play the character, which I thought, yeah, that would work. He, he's, a, he's, a, he's, a great, uh, he's got great timing. He's a good actor. I mean, he's done a lot of voice acting for the um, DC animated movies. Uh, Green Lantern, I know that for sure. So uh, we'll see. But I'm just wondering, like, I was going to ask, I'm asking you guys, do you think it would have worked better as a TV show or are you looking forward to the movie? It's kind of hard because I'm going, you know, I'm looking at like, okay, this character has got an interesting backstory and it would work as a TV show. It really would. But I'm also excited to see a better production value and something different. Warner Brothers and DC is bringing something different. That's that's what I like about the fact that Lobos is coming out. They, I mean, they're not, and even Justice League Dark. You know, that's what they have on top of Marvel, I guess you could say, because obviously Marvel doesn't have all their properties. Warner Brothers does, has all the DC properties. So they can do a lot what they want, and it's all them. It's not separated. I mean, you think Marvel Studios, I mean, as much as they're kicking ass, they would have loved to have some of that Deadpool fucking money as well as that success. You know, because it was so different. It wasn't it wasn't your normal comic book movie, your superhero movie, and though he's like more of an anti-hero, so... I don't know. I just wanted to talk about that, and I think... I mean, as much as I would have probably preferred a TV show, I'm really looking forward to this movie and seeing what they do with the character and the fact that we're getting just a off-the-wall character. This is almost like the Ant-Man of the DCU, I think. I think this is like the Ant-Man character because, I mean... Everybody was like, Ant-Man? They're really going to make an Ant-Man movie? Holy shit. And it ended up being a great movie. Funny and everything. So let me know your thoughts about it down below, guys. And uh, uh, check out that. I mean, you don't have to check out the video. I'll post it down there just in case you want to. I kind of make fun of like the posts that were posted on other websites. Eh, a little bit. So go check that out. And uh, let me know your thoughts, guys. And I'll talk to you later.